In this video, we will talk about how to take action as young people, either individually or collectively. In addition to all the individual actions that we can take, such as reducing our meat consumption, reducing our clothing purchases, and insert having a more environmentally friendly lifestyle, there are other individual actions that can have an impact on society and generate changes for a sustainable future. Okay, so now we will see how to start carrying out this individual advocacy action. Well, all advocacy work starts with gathering information to learn more about the issue or the topic. Nowadays, we can inform ourselves very effectively through, for example, the media or trusted online platforms. And in this way, we can do research to know why things are the way they are, how they got that way, and how they could be changed. So we will understand the social and political context necessary to start our advocacy process. We must remember that to take action, it is essential that we connect with other young people and organizations that are active in the field of climate change and do research on initiatives, projects, campaigns, tutorials, or educational tools that will help us to get closer to the cause. In this way, we will gather support and increase our network, so consequently, take a collective action. Similarly, promoting and participating in courses, for example, on planetary health, will give us a knowledge and activist network that will get us more involved. Well, as individuals, we can uh, lobby or try to convince in schools and institutes to integrate environmental education into basic studies. Uh, we can also make a small gestures that have a big, big impact, uh, such as picking up litter in the street and encouraging our group or friends to do it with us. Similarly, we can apply our interest to the climate struggle, but we don't have to give up the things we like to dedicate ourselves 100% to the climate struggle. But for example, if you like art, such as painting or music, you can make your, ad, your art a claim or a critical work with the current situation. Likewise, social networks, social media are fundamental tools for shaping society. Therefore, through our networks, we can become references or role models, and we can start spreading the information we have previously re researched and share how we can lead a more environmentally friendly lifestyle. On the other hand, as young people, we can get involved in local politics, but to do this, we've, we will first need to read and understand the policy. However, this is often difficult as the language is technical and complicated, and many of us do not get to read these documents. So our voices are absent in the policies that affect us. But it's essential that we are able to read, understand, and comment on policies. So. Uh, once we understand the policy, we can comment on it, because as young people, we have a voice and must be allowed to participate in any policy that affects our current uh, and future lives. We must bear in mind that the comments we submit, the more specific they are, the more useful they will be. And if a policy has already passed the comment stage, we can get involved in the implementation process and we can comment on what has been done with that policy and whether the contents have been met. Finally, attending and participating in conferences and meetings with decision makers is a direct way to make our voices and claims heard. Okay, so now uh, we will talk about how to create collective action. Okay, so we young people as individuals, we can make a big difference and have a big impact. But if we join forces and commit ourselves to the fight against climate change, the pressure will be greater. And if we all act together to build the future we want, we will find more effective solutions and we will be able to slow down the accelerating advance of climate change faster. So first, to start engaging in collective action, we need to do some research of what is being done and what organization already exists to help inspire us. This uh, youth-led association and movements are the most effective tool for tackling the climate change. 
as they provide a platform for us to engage in direct action and participation at local, national and global levels. Once we have identified these movements, we can join youth environmental organization and participate in governmental, non-governmental, school or community programs that support the fight against climate change. So by joining together, we can support and lobby for policy change and job led education. And on the other hand, collectively, young people can be empowered to actively participate in political process and decision making at all levels. OK, so let's see some examples of job climate action. OK, we can start with Greta Thunberg. Uh, she's a Swedish environmental activist, and her first appearance was in 2018, when she was only 15 years old, because she started a school strike in, far, in front of the Swedish parliament in Estoholm to get her government to reduce carbon emissions, as they had committed to the Paris Agreement. Greta herself funded the Fridays for Future movement, which has already mobilized young people around the world. The persistence with which she led the demonstration and strikes attracted a lot of attention from the media and environmentalists all over the world. Today, Greta is a symbol in the fight against climate change and has thousands of uh, followers, which has given her access to international organizations such as when she gave her speech at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in 2018 in Poland. Okay, so now we have Russell Raymond, who is a citizen of the Caribbean island of Dominica. He is now 17 years old, but in 2017, when Hurricane Maria devastated his country, leaving in its way multiple disasters, he decided to give visibility to the disaster by photographing the impacts of the hurricane that had destroyed his home. Also, we have Sia uh, Bastida. She is 19 years old climate justice activist living in New York. She is involved on Fridays for Future and is a co-founder of the Re-Earth Initiative, which is a youth-led international organization that focuses on highlighting the intersectionality of the climate crisis. She was born in Mexico and grew up in the indigenous Otomi Toltec community. And in the first climate strike she organized in March 2019, she mobilized 600 students from her school. Now let's talk about the Stopico Side Foundation, which although it's not a youth initiative, is a good example of advocacy. Well, uh, Stopico Side is a, a foundation of environmental lawyers and activists pursuing the recognition of ecocide as an international crime, along with those of war, genocide, and crimes against humanity. To this end, in June 2021, a panel of experts in which FIFGAR participated, presented the legal def definition of the term. Um, the legal definition is, for the purpose of this statute, uh, ecocide means any unlawful or arbitrary act committed in the knowledge that there is a substantial likelihood of causing serious, widespread, and long-term damage to the environment. So the aim of the movement is to incorporate into the Rome Statute a new, a new crime against the serious destruction and uh, degradation of the environment. Um, the plenary of the European Parliament has voted in favor of incorporating environmental crimes at the level of ecocide into the uh, European Union Directive on Protection of the Environment through criminal law. And finally, in 2018, with support from the Justicia, a group of 25 young people drafted the first lawsuit in Latin America on climate change and future generations. In this lawsuit, they state that the deforestation and uh, the indiscriminate logging of their forest were threatening their future lives and generations to come, as well as their constitutional and human rights to a healthy environment, health, water, and food. They also state that the people who will suffer the most the devastation effects of climate change are future generations. Um, they call on government to stop deforestation and ensure citizen participation in the development of an international plan for Colombian Amazon. 
Finally, the Supreme Court of Justice ruled in favor of the young people in a historic uh, decision, demanding that the government take concrete and effective action to protect the rights of future generations and the Colombian Amazon, which is considered a subject entity. So thank you very much for watching this video and we hope you like it.